This is the North Carolina Zoo's R.J. Reynolds Forest Aviary, recognized by experts as one of the best natural habitat exhibits in American zoos. In addition to the beauty of the exhibit, the aviary has also been recognized for some of the most significant hatchings in American zoos. One of the most recent of these is the blue-crowned laughing thrush, a critically endangered species native to China. Zookeeper Stephanie Kruger tells us more about the laughing thrush and the importance of breeding this species in captivity. These guys are found in southeast China uh, and it's a pretty small population. There are only 250 birds left in the wild. They are critically endangered right now. And there's two things we do in captivity. One of them is we use them for ambassador species. So that way we can show them to people, make them appreciate and kind of get to know these birds so they know how important they are. And then the other thing we do is we participate in breeding programs. And our focus is to get as many successful hatches and as we can from these birds so we can help support the population in captivity. These guys are critically endangered in the wild. So by working with them in zoos, we can kind of help make a genetic bank in captivity to make sure these guys don't go completely extinct. And also, we can educate the public so we can make people appreciate and understand how important these guys are to keep around. The aviary's success in breeding birds has made the North Carolina Zoo a leader in the effort to save many endangered species. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for The Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.